Next reader will be Bill Yarrow. Bill, come on. Up. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm going to read a um, poem from my new book called The Big of Love. This is called A Debt No Honest Man Can Pay. I'm sitting here listening to Nebraska, and it's breaking my heart, not because it's plaintive and brilliant, because it's taking me back to 1982 and our baby, not even two pounds, in intensive care in New York Hospital, far away. We live in Queens. It's what we can afford. But we see her every day, what one of us does, via the subway, where I sit listening to Nebraska. And Springsteen is singing about paying a debt no honest man can pay. And I'm thinking, what is that debt? It's marriage, right? It's love, right? It's the privilege of having a kid, right? Not in a song, but in life, in someone's life, in my life. It's a debt, a brutally honest debt. But you never pay it back. No one can. Not with money, not with time, not with compassion, not with care, not with what I make, not with even with what you make. I'm not talking hospital bills. I'm talking what forever can never be repaid. So listen, you listen to a song whose line hits you in your kidney, and you double over as if you're pregnant, a pregnant woman, not close, not close enough to turn, but you birth something anyway. And one day, it becomes your heart, and then your heart gets pregnant, and it gives birth to your future, which you learn is made entirely of your past. A past where you're listening to a song, a concept, a whole album, again and again, over and over. The album Nebraska, which never gets dull, never gets tired, never gets old. Wow. <laughs> and, and this poem uh, is called Ways of Seeing Karachi. I have become interested in Karachi. Ludovico Caracci, Bolognese contemporary of Shakespeare, early Baroque artist, cousin of Agostino and Annabale, whose 1612 painting, Body of Saint Sebastian, thrown into the Cloaca Maxima, is a masterpiece of the frozen moment. Sebastian is limp in a sheet, supported by muscular soldiers. His hands hang down, his eyes are shut. Is he asleep? More like unconscious. After all, he's about to be thrown into the great sewer of Rome. Unless one rotates the image, then he becomes beautifully vertical, his dreaming body like a sleeping bird floating in warm, soft air. Then the closed fist and flexed forearms of the executioners are seen impotently attempting to hold him down but nothing human can prevent his rise. And this is my um, very rare, overtly political poem. <clears throat> it's called, We All Saw It Coming. We all saw it coming, the snakes in ascendance, the dark satanic milling around, the troops of the nouveau greedy, the safety nets on fire, the cesspool of superiority flooding the brazen stage. We all saw it coming, the Pete Moss racists, the neonatal Nazis, King Lear, Queen Getrude, the bully trident planted, the ratcheting down of sense. We all saw it coming, the tide of crude insurgents, complacency swept away, virtues camel toe exposed, the nipple slip of decency, the fondling of the tit of turpitude, the gangbang of the plebiscite. We all saw it coming, but we did nothing to stop it. I don't mean we. I don't mean we saw it coming. I mean I. I saw it coming and did nothing. 